Hello and welcome to your MESE lesson. I'm Virginia. Today, you're going to learn about modal verbs. What are modal verbs? Modal verbs are special verbs which behave very differently from normal verbs. They modify or help the meaning of the main verb in a sentence. For example, using only a regular verb, I eat. Adding a modal verb, I can eat. When you use the modal verb can, you express ability or possibility related to the main verb in the sentence. Let's practice that example once more. Please repeat after me. I can eat. Some of the most common modal verbs are can, will, would, could, should. Let's look at an example of each modal verb and how they modify the verb. I will eat. Let's practice that example once more. Please repeat after me. I will eat. I would eat. Let's practice that example again. Please repeat after me. I would eat. I could eat. Let's practice that example once more. Please repeat after me. I could eat. I should eat. Let's practice that example again. Please repeat after me. I should eat. Often included with modals is the verb have plus to and an infinitive. Although have to is not technically a modal verb, it behaves like one and is very commonly used. Let's look at an example of have to. I have to eat. Let's practice that example once more. Please repeat after me. I have to eat. Remember that have to is conjugated as has to in the third person. There are three important differences between modal verbs and regular verbs. First, regular verbs use n S in the third person. For example, I play piano. You play piano. He plays piano. But a modal verb is not conjugated in the third person. For example, I can play piano. You can play piano. He can play piano. Notice that it is said, he can, not he cans. Let's practice that example. Please repeat after me. He can play piano. Second, regular verbs can stand alone in a sentence. For example, I jog in the morning. Jog is the main verb in the sentence. However, modal verbs cannot stand alone in a sentence. They are there to help the main verb. Modal verbs go before the main verb. For example, I should jog in the morning. The main verb is jog, and it is helped by should. You cannot say, I should in the morning. Let's practice that example. Please repeat after me. I should jog in the morning. And third, Regular verbs are conjugated in the past like this. I planned parties. However, modal verbs and the main verbs that they modify cannot be conjugated in the past tenses or the future tenses. Let's use the modal verb would in the same sentence. I would plan parties. Notice that none of the verbs are conjugated 
even though the sentence is talking about the past. This is true for any modal verb that talks about the past or the future. Now, let's review. What are modal verbs? They are special verbs which behave very differently from normal verbs. They modify or help the meaning of the main verb in a sentence. Well done. I'm Virginia. See you next time.